Hello, this is Nir from Polypop Live and today I'm going to be showing you how to use your live webcam feed as a texture for 3D objects. Because Polypop uses a 3D gaming engine to generate objects live, you can use it to brand objects easily and make them interact with each other to create non-repetitive animations. And I'm talking about things like this for example, where my live webcam feed is being used as a texture for these flying coins. In Polypop you can use your live webcam feed as a texture, you can use videos and you can also use uh, pictures as a texture for any 3D objects. Uh, for example, here is Polypop's logo as a texture for the same objects. Another example is this 3D cube screen where my live webcam feed is being used as texture for all faces. And you can also create your very own 3D object in any 3D app, Blender for example, import it to Polypop and use your live webcam feed as a texture for that object. You can also use your webcam feed as a texture for 3D effects. Here is a particle effect using my webcam feed as a texture. Because Polypop is a sandbox for your imagination, you can use it in endless ways to create your very own unique effect by combining tools and image filters. In this case, for example, I combine a 3D object with a rotating face tool and some image filters to create this really unique background. So let's begin and see how you use your webcam live feed as a texture for 3D objects. The first thing we'll need to do is add our webcam to the source library here on the left. To do that, we will click on the plus button, look at the drop down menu and choose webcam. I already did that and so I have my webcam here in my source library. It's important to know that in Polypop, unlike other broadcasting app, whatever's in my source library is always available to me in any scene and even multiple times in one scene. For example, I can just drag and drop my webcam source many times to the scene I'm at. Another very important thing to know is that you can create child sources to your webcam. So if I will click on this plus button here and we'll I will have the crop and filter option, I will click that and now I can crop my feed let's do something extreme i will crop only my mouth like this you can add filters to it by clicking on this plus button here on the right under filters and choose whatever filters you want i will add a gradient map to change the colors i will use it as is for now and i will also add the halfton filter that will make everything more dotted like this so i will click on the go back button and now you can see that under sources, I have another child called crop and filter. I will name that mouth. And now I can use it as any other source. I can drag and drop it to my scene multiple times and also to other scenes. I can magnify it to use as a background, like a dotted background that moves with my the movement of my mouth, like it big. So right now, whenever I talk, my background changes according to my mouth movements. And I can also drag it to 3D object to change the texture. So right now my 3D monitor also had the same texture, but let me bring back my regular webcam feed. So if you paid attention, you probably figured out how to apply a webcam texture to an object. You just drag and drop it on a 3D object. Let me bring a new 3D object and show you how it's being done from the start. To bring a 3D object, I will click on the plus button under the scene layout here on the right. I will go to 3D object and I will choose an object, but you should know that not all objects can have webcam texture. To know which object can have webcam texture, I will look for the object texture that is written on top of them. So here is the coin that we saw before has an object texture. Um, Here's the can, object texture. You have all these screens and monitors that has object texture. So I'll pick one that has that. Let's just take a random screen. I will have this cube. So now I have a 3D cube on my canvas or in my scene. I can move it around. I can add a mod to it, physics. So now all the physics rules I apply to it. I can make it float and bounce. So if it moves around, it will jump and bounce like this but as you can see the no source text is still there so it means that I can apply a texture to that I can take my webcam texture from the source library here on the left and just drag and drop it on the 3d object and now the object has 
my webcam feed as a texture. And I can also use my child source and I can just drag and drop it here. And now it has a different kind of texture. To make it more interesting, let's quickly create another child source. Remember, I click the plus button here next to the webcam, crop and filter. I will quickly add another gradient map, change the colors a little bit. I don't know. And I'll add another image filter, maybe a glow. That's good enough. I will click on the go back button and as you can see, now I have another child in my source library. I will drag and drop that. Now I have this. Now let's see how you apply your webcam texture to 3D effects. I will go to the 3D effects in the scene layout, the plus button and 3D. You have all these effects. I will choose one that I showed you at the beginning, the rotating face effect. And now I have my effect on my canvas, on my scene. As you can see, the default is this laughing emoji, but let's change it to something that can use my webcam texture. I will choose this effect in my scene layout, faces. Then I will click on this little triangle next to objects, 3D object. And I can see that the source is the tongue emoji. So let's change that source to something else that actually can use my webcam texture. I will click on the preset here and now I can choose another 3D object. If I will choose one without object texture, let's randomly pick, I know, this hat, it will just replace the object, but I wanted something that can use my webcam feed. So let's click again on preset and choose something else that I can actually use. This time I will choose a circle box. So now let's change the nose source into my webcam source. I will choose the webcam child I created last. I will just drag and drop it here. And look at that, you have a dynamic background with your webcam texture. You can of course change their color here and play with other properties like this. So I hope you got the basics of how to apply your webcam feed as a texture for a 3D object. Remember that Pipeup was designed as a sandbox for you to play with and explore, so create a unique effect for a stream and I will see you in the next tutorial.